Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. Let's see the first question in this session. Here the problem is given as if 100C 25R plus 1 is equal to 100C R plus 97, then find the value of R. Here, if you observe carefully, here this is in the form of NCR is equal to NCS. It is in the form of NCR is equal to NCS. Why? Because this particular N value is same in both the cases. Right hand side and left hand side in both the cases, uh, N value is equal. Therefore, it is in the form of NCR is equal to NCS. Whenever NCR is equal to NCS, we have two conditions. Either N is equal to R plus S or else R is equal to S. I can use any of the two conditions based on uh, my requirement. Here, I want the value of R. So, I can use R is equal to S. It means uh, this value is equal to this value. I can use the second one. So, according to the question, 25R plus 1 is equal to R plus 97. R plus 97. This R comes to left side and 1 goes to right side. 25R minus R which is equal to 97 minus 1. That is equal to 96. Here it is 24R is equal to 96. From this R is equal to 24 4 sir. 96. Uh, so, R is equal to 4. That is the value of R. Exact value of R is uh, 4. Here, you will get the answer either by taking uh, N is equal to R plus S or else uh, R is equal to S. You can use any of those two, but I can use the second one in order to get the value of uh, R. That is the reason why I am using the second condition. And uh, one important point is uh, if you are unable to identify that the given question is not in a form or in the form of NCR is equal to NCS. If you are unable to identify this particular condition, you cannot able to solve these kind of problems. That is the reason why in, term, in, a, in this topic especially permutations and combinations, some formulas and the conditions are very important. Without knowing that it is not possible to get the answers easily. Okay. Let's move to the next question. See here. If there are three routes from A to B, CTA to B. Let us take uh, CTA, this one, CTB, this one. And uh, there are three routes from A to B. A to B, three routes. These are the three routes. Okay. And then five routes uh, this is 3 and this is 5. 5 routes from city B to city C. 5 routes. Another city C. 5 routes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the 5 routes from B to C. Right? Then find the number of distinct routes form from city A to C through B. We need to find the number of distinct routes. Distinct in the sense different. Distinct. The word is very important. Distinct. Which is nothing but uh, different. Okay. The number of uh, distinct routes from, from city A to C through B. Here that particular uh, person has to move from A to C through B. So definitely... Uh, the condition is uh, initially from A to B, after that uh, B to C, right? So, if I choose this one, A to B, after that B to C. A to B is this line, this is this one, this one, this one, this one. By using only this way, I can able to create, let us take this is 1, 2, 3 and let us take this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the five roots. I can able to create by using a 1-1 one, one condition. I can able to create 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, 1-5. One, These are the five roots 
from A to B and uh, B to C, right? And similarly, if I choose the uh, second root from A to B, then the possible cases 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, 2 4, 2 5. Similarly, if I choose the root from A to B as 3, third root, then the possible cases 3 1, 3 2, 3 3, 3 4 and uh, 3 5. Now, if you observe carefully, here these are 5 roots and these are 5 roots and these are 5 roots. Total 5 plus 5 plus 5. That value is 15. Total 15 different roots are formed from A to C through B. That is the answer for this question. This is the general procedure how to get this answer. But the shortcut method to solve these kind of problems. Just by seeing the question itself directly you can calculate 3 into 5. Here it is 3 roots from A to B and 5 roots from P to C. The product of these two which will give you the exact answer. This is the shortcut method. Whereas if you want to know the concept of this particular question, this is the concept. This is a concept oriented method and this is a shortcut oriented method. In this way you can solve uh, these kind of problems easily. 15 is the answer for this question. Let's see the next question. If 12 members are participated in a shooting competition, if 12 members are participated in a shooting competition, in how many ways, in how many ways do they finish the competition for the first four positions? Here, total 12 members are participated in a shooting competition. And the question what he is asking is, in how many ways do they finish the competition for the first four positions? As we are talking about first four positions, as we are talking about only first four positions, this is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3 and this is number 4. We don't want the remaining positions at all. As we are talking about the positions uh, which indicates about permutation. So many students have a doubt that whether this particular problem is belongs to permutation or else combination. It is very easy to identify that if you know the concept uh, clearly. It is very easy to identify. Here, as we are talking about the position, position is always indicates permutation. That is an arrangement. First four positions, we have to arrange four members in the first four positions. Total, we have 12 members. Out of those, we are arranging only four. So, 12P4, that is the required arrangement. How can you calculate 12P4 value again? 12 into starting from 12 onwards you need to write uh, 4 numbers in decreasing order. 12 into 11 into 10 into 9. Now you can calculate the product of these two. Here it is uh, I can take it as this 11 9 sir, 99. 99 into 12. Here it is uh, 18 and next uh, 18 plus 1 19 and next this is 9 9. Here it is 8 18, 10, 11, 11, 88 and uh, into 10 is there, 11, 88,1 more 0, 12P4 which is nothing but 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 that value is uh, double one double eight zero. that is the answer for this question. In this way you can solve these kind of problems uh, related to the positions. Uh, guys, I hope you understand the session. Thank you, thank you very much for watching.